Good morning, it's Abby, and I am back with another video. What I'm changing, um, what's staying the same as far as how I'm going to TTC this cycle. So today I'm on cycle nine, and I just took an ovulation test, and I will probably do um, an ovulation line progression video um, once I'm once I ovulate, hopefully ovulate this month. Um, so look out for that video. So I am just getting ready for the day. So the first TTC tip I wanted to talk about is my diet. And I don't like to call it a diet. I like to more so call it a lifestyle. I know I've said this many times before. For long term purposes, a diet isn't um, optimal. So, you know, most times when you're trying to get pregnant, a diet, yeah, is going to get you where you need to be for maybe a month or a couple weeks. But, you know, if you're looking to change your lifestyle and how you eat um, and being overall healthier, then you need to make it a lifestyle. Um, and so, I, I was just doing some research and found the anti-inflammatory diet. And so what the anti-inflammatory diet is, is um, a diet consisting of foods that are um, anti-inflammatory foods. So our body has the natural mechanism for fighting against things that don't belong in the body. Um, but sometimes we fight against our bodies by putting more things in our body, like more foods in our body that, the, that our body needs to fight against in order to make it healthier. And so such as inflammatory foods like trans fats, fast foods, salty snacks, refined sugars, white sugars, white carbs, like our body, um, some of those foods are just not good for our body and make our body um, just fight against them and do too much work, basically. And so I was looking up just um, because I have issues with my gut, um, with my belly and my digestion system, and I've been trying to find natural ways to regulate it. And so because I, I get constipated even when I'm not, um, yeah, I just get constipated, period. I um, was doing some research and I found that the an anti-inflammatory diet is good for gut health as well as fertility. Because if we're eating more foods that are anti-inflammatory, meaning that they don't um, call, they don't cause inflammation in our bodies, then our body doesn't have to fight as much to maintain the healthiness of our body. I'm trying to say it in layman terms. I'll, I'll um, put a list of foods down below which are um, on my list that I've written out for anti-inflammatory foods. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to try and incorporate more of those into my diet. More of those and less of um, snacks. I love animal crackers. Um, I love peanut butter and those have like lots of sugar. That, well, that has lots of sugar. I love dipping my animal crackers in the peanut butter. And then I love tortilla chips, you know, the salty, salty chips. Um, I'm not really a other chip fan, just tortilla chips. But um, I'm gonna try and cut down on those. The, yesterday, yeah, the other day I had, I had a serving size of tortilla chips, guys. Do you know what a serving size? of tortilla chips is nine, nine chips, really. And so yesterday I had two serving sizes of tortilla chips. <laughs> Cause I just wanted some so bad. Anyway, once you start eating tortilla chips, you can't just stop. That's just rude. Oh, where out the mascara? Oh, there you go. And so I, number two for TTC tips is water I'm going to be trying to um drink more water so 
My goal is a gallon and I have not reached the gallon yet this week. <laughs> I have reached 110. My bathroom is not set up for beauty blogging um, or get ready with me. Um, I have reached 110 ounces of water and I believe that was on Sunday night. I started this week my uh, problem child is water getting enough water the reason water is so important is the um, For ovulation Ooh, I like this this blue uh, ooh. Anyways um, For ovulation your body needs water um, Like your eggs need water your I mean I feel like I'm all dried up. I feel like I'm all dried up because I don't drink enough water like my eggs are like dried up or something like and that's why you know because Lito drinks like over a gallon a day so I'm pretty sure his sperm quality is a-okay but my eggs how you like your eggs girl dried up and so I'm gonna be drinking more water so that my egg quality improves because I believe that if I drink more water you know you're your body goes into starvation or dehydration mode when it doesn't get enough water. So it's sending the water to the, the water that you do drink during the day, it's sending that to the, the like vital organs in your body. And then your reproductive organs just get pushed to the side, if that makes any sense. And so drink more water. That is my TTC tip number two. I had to come in here because I wrote down these tips and um oh tip number three is all of these all of these tips have to do with the body and um you know feeding the body and so or um uh, watching your body um so tip number three is uh, checking your BBTs your basal body temperature and so I the first time I checked my basal body the first time I did basal body temperatures in my cycle, I got pregnant. That was in February. Um, I had never did BBTs before then. And so I did start BBTs again this cycle and they've been off, they've been wacky. So I'm gonna do OPKs as well. Um, but I, the key to BBT is to do it at the same time every morning. And that's where I am not, you know, thriving well the first two days of me doing the bbts i didn't do it in the first um i started at you know, like a day before my period ended and then um but i during my period i just am so sluggish i didn't go to i didn't go to the gym all week that week and i'm just so sluggish and tired um that I, w I kept walking waking up late and forgetting to take my bbt so now i take my bbt at 4 45 in the morning <laughs> every morning i'm probably sure that i'm pretty sure that's probably even too early to be taking it um i think the last time in february i was doing it at six i'm not sure if the time matters that's what time i wake up um well i usually get out of bed around five um so that's why I do them so early. Um, but you don't have to do them that early. You just have to do them at the same time every day. Um, and you have to do it before you get out of bed. So like once my alarm goes off, I'll roll over. I don't even sit up, like don't even sit up. I roll over, grab the thermometer off of my nightstand. And usually I set it by my phone because you know, I can just turn off my alarm and pick up the thermometer. So that's a good tip and I pop it in my mouth. So, and then I roll back, I press the button, roll back over. So, number four, listen. <laughs> well, this is a TTC tip for me. Listen to my personal trainer. Listen to my body when it comes to exercise. Exercise, just exercise. I feel like when I exercise, you know, like first thing in the morning or sometimes I exercise at night, if I'm, exercise during the day i just feel better i feel completely like satisfied with life when i exercise i recommend that you exercise have a day like a daily exercise regimen you're just like stretching or uh you know walking outside it's nice and summery outside um now and um you know taking a walk or 
Um, if you want to do one of our programs on our website, you can check that in the link below. Um, we do have a 21 day fitness program. Yeah, 21 days. My last tip, tip number five is meditation and alone time. The thing is with TTC, it can become very overwhelming and it is so important that you're not stressed while you're trying to conceive because when you're stressed, when your mind is stressed, then your body takes on that stress. And when your body takes on that stress, stress it's not the healthiest that you know it can be to um, provide that optimal, um, optimal womb for the baby to thrive in. I set my, I don't wanna show you guys all of my office, but I have my candles lit here and you know, my books. I was reading this morning. This is not the book I was reading this morning. This is Women in the Bible. Um, but I just have my little mood set and you know, I sit here and I just meditate on um, the word of God. Today I was reading about um, fasting. Um, and so I just meditate on whatever I'm reading, you know, have that alone time so that I can clear my head and clear my mind for what, you know, God is going to prepare me for today. I hope that, um, you like these TTC tips. I, these are not the only things that I do. If you'd like, like a full, like TTC update on like maybe a day in the life of a TTC youtuber or something like that like you know what i eat in a day and or you know just anything any video ideas um that you would like to see just leave them in the comments um and i hope you've been blessed today in jesus name amen